back to another episode of Pod's Garage. In this episode, we're doing TGV Butterfly Deletes. And also, I'm just going to clean up the golf so I can take some photos because I am putting it up for sale soon. And it's another day. Uh, parts aren't back yet. Um, Dad's going to put them through the wash again. So it's three times through the wash. <coughs> Washed my car yesterday. And it's already dirty. Uh, just got a couple of things I need to do. Going to get my hair cut. And do a couple of things at Eastland. Then I'll come back and start on Butterfly. TGV delete. Oh, I also found my 14mm deep socket and the reducer. Um, that was in the boot of the golf when I cleaned it. Woohoo! Okay, guys, so yesterday I ordered the head gasket and seal kit from America. And <coughs> when I woke up this morning, had been marked as shipped, which is awesome. Had a estimated arrival date of the 17th of September. Um, when I ordered it, it said from the 7th to the 17th. So today it's the 23rd, so two to three weeks. I can do quite a bit in that time. I can't actually put the block together unless I go and get just the seal kit from a Subaru dealer, um, which is 15 bucks. But today I might have a look around for piston rings and. Um, Main bearings. Oh, I should have looked at the crank before I left as well. See if it was. Come on. Um, see if it was a number three or a five. The main bearing. Oh well. Here we go. Got my hair done. Let's head to Eastland to do a couple of things. TGVs. Okay, that is better. Let's take the intake over to the middle bench. Okay, so we need to get the manifold off the TGV. Intake part of it. <clears throat> you need to get some tens. That comes with <clears throat> the gasket kit that I got comes with the gasket for this and onto the block as well. Cool. TGVs. 
and I put these in there as well. So there we go. Bit of a restriction. And when it's actually working. It's fully oh take the gas cover. Apparently these are really hard to get out. <clears throat> Okay, drill the screws out. So here we go. It will be popping out by now. Oh, okay. I'm feeling ya. I'll get some pliers. There we go. Problem I could probably tell that you might have you're doing it just like this. There's a bit of whistling, I guess. But never know, you might not hear it above the turbo. is true ghetto spec. Hey guys, <clears throat> I'll just take you through why I've done it like this because I don't want to run the risk of having a boost leak. Um, it's the main reason. You're getting rid of that. May have a little bit of noise with the screw holes and if they do open up then you'll have that that line that that was in this little slit so you might get a bit of a whistle but yeah should in theory run better be able to flow more and in the next build I'll completely get rid of all of this so I'm going to have time to do it so Just cleaning up the TGVs with some petrol. Just getting rid of all the, the filing that I did. And the rest of the engine is on its third day of getting cleaned. So it should be nice and clean. What do you guys think? Should I paint the engine? Should I paint the valve covers, the engine block, the heads? One of them, or all of them, got a couple of weeks. And just a question for you guys out there as well. Can you use normal paint 
like a base color but use a high temp primer and a high temp clear will that work so I can color code um, whatever parts with the outside of the car hey guys we're on the right hand side managed to get all the screws out so I didn't have to drill this side at all it's gonna be a lot neater it's good I got the intake out as well because we're going to be running the GT35 okay got the butterflies out but don't worry about what I said before because they actually they all broke off so I've got to drill them out anyway don't want a bit of a screw to fall into the engine there we go guys we can't see in there but both TGVs have been the butterfly so here they are here so hopefully now we can flow more I'm gonna leave it there today thanks for watching stay tuned for tomorrow's episode bye